Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about, about the time reversal signals in discrete time domain. In last video tutorial, I have already discussed about continuous time domain. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about discrete time domains, right? So what is uh, time reversal signal? How you do it? Basically, you replace X of N by X of minus N. So wherever you find a discrete time variable n, you, you replace it by n. In time domain, it is basically, uh, you can say it is a kind of a special case for b equals to minus, uh, for b equals to minus one. We know that we, in time scale, we replace n by b n, right? Or a n, right? So b is a scaling factor. And in case of uh, time reversal, uh, b is equals to minus one, right? So, uh, there are two more important points to understand. Uh, what is the effect of the time reversal signal? Time reverse, reversal signal will actually uh, flip the signal across the y-axis or uh, there will be a reflection of original signal about n equals to zero. What does it mean? For example, your signal is discrete time signal like this. So if you are going to time reverse it, this is your x of n signal. So uh, time reversal signal will be like this. So that means whatever uh, what's present at n equals to negative values, it will switch or flip towards, or it will have a replica, replica uh, in the positive domain. And similarly, the whatever the positive domain will get reflected in negative domain. So this is going to happen uh, in time reversal signal. Uh, and we are going to witness it uh, in mathematical form and as well as in graphical form. So let's go to uh, visualize these signals uh, in mathematical form. So let's say this is our discrete time signal, which is basically X of N and it, 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 it has a two different parts available. So it is defined for diff two different uh, intervals and it has a two different definition for two different intervals, right? So this is your original signal and what I'm gonna do in mathematical, uh, I'm going to replace n by minus n. So if I'm going to replace wherever I have found n, I will be replacing n here with minus n. This n will also get replaced with minus n. This or n and this n and similarly this n. So all the n's will be replaced with minus n. So what is going to happen? So this is what I've done. So you can see that this is minus n, this is minus n, this is also minus n, and this is also minus n. Now it is going to take the uh, process. So you know that uh, we need to resolve this definition or you, we need to simplify this definition uh, for n uh, and this minus should be eliminated. So what we will do, we will uh, put minus here or we'll put minus here, or you can simply say that you will multiply minus on both sides. So what is going to happen? This two will become minus two and this minus one would become plus one. And you know that this interval should be like that, uh, that small value should come on the left side and the great value should come on the right side. So this interval will become something like that from minus two to plus one. In, originally it was from minus one to two. Now it has become from minus two to one, right? Similarly, this is going to also happen. So if you multiply minus on both sides, so this will also become from minus five to uh, minus three, right? And n will be somewhere in between. And similarly, minus minus would become plus here. So if I'm going to show you the finalized equation, it will be look like this. And I hope you can see that uh, now your definition interval is changed. So whatever the values which were defined in between minus one and two, they have been reflected or they have been time reverse and they are now defined in between minus two and minus uh, one. And similarly, the values which were defined from three to five, they are defined now minus five to minus five, three. Uh, and we are going to also visualize this thing in uh, graphical form. So this is the what original signal or the time reversal signal. So uh, I hope you understand it. Let's visualize the signal and let's uh, perform the time reversal operation in graphical form. So we are going to conduct the time reversal operation in graphical form and we are given with the two different values, uh, two different equations. And this is X of N and this is X of minus N. Let's say I'm going to plot first of all X of N. So X of N will be our original signal. So 
if I want to plot x of n, so I have a values from minus one to two and signal have its value equals to one. Let's say this is amplitude equals to one. So this is n equals to minus one simple. So signal value will be simply one. At zero and equal to zero, signal value will be simply one. At n equals to one, signal value will be simply one. And similarly, n equals to uh, two, signal value will be simply one. Right now, for three to five, for sample values three to five, three, four, and five, we will use this definition. So for three, we will put n equals to three. So five minus three would become two. Two over two would become one. So at three, signal value will be simply one. Right uh, at four, so five minus four would become one, and one upon two means 0. 0.5. So that means half. So signal value would be half at this point. Right. Similarly, at five, five minus five value would become zero. So signal value will be simply zero. So this is the graphical form of X of N. Now let's plot the graphical form of uh, X of N, X of minus N, right? So we will use the definition one from minus two to one, right? So for this is the minus sample one, and let's say this is amplitude one. So, uh, at n equals to minus two, this is n equals to minus one, and this is n equals to minus two, signal value simply would be one. Similarly, at n equals to minus one, signal value will be simply one. n equals to zero, signal value would be simply what? One, and at n equals to one, signal value would be simply one, right? Sim so now for minus five to minus three to minus five, we will follow this definition, right? So we'll put minus three first. So and five minus three would become simply two, two over two would become one. So at minus three signal value simply equals to one. And then we will put minus four. So five minus four would become what? One, one over two means half. So at minus four signal strength would be half of the strength or half value, right? So at minus five signal value would become five minus five would become zero. So at minus five signal value would be simply zero. And now you can easily see that this is exactly the replica or the time flip version or the reflection of the original signal. This signal, which is basically the uh, X of N signal, you can easily see that this is the replica or the, you can say the uh, flip version of the signal, right? This is uh, the original signal. And this signal, if you compare it, you will find that these are what time reversed operation or time reversed uh, or time reflected or flipped version of each other, right? And that is what is being done in time reversal operation. So I hope you have understand the time reversal operation in discrete time signals. Still, if you have any confusion or query regarding this time reversal operation, either in graphical domain or in mathematical domain, you can post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.